Welcome back everyone. Um, today uh, we're going to be working in a new, I'm not saying new, uh, in a needle fish uh, tandem, tandem hook. I've been thinking for quite some time how I can make this thing working over here in a way that the fibers will not tangle. Um, as you can see it, you know, I already put this thing on the water. I tried several times. I have a piece of monofilament over there. And uh, if you're doing the correct cast, uh, I mean, I am a horrible casting myself. Don't get me wrong. But if I concentrate on the cast, and the cast is perfect, meaning, you know, no, the perfect loop, then the, the fly really will not tangle. Because I want to, I felt like I, I needed these are the original needle fish flies, one hook. Um, so I kind of felt like to do a needle fish with tandem. So there is a, this is a variation for, to these flies over here, and uh, I think it's fun to tie. Um, so let's see what we can come out with it. I haven't finished, I'm done with this fly. Uh, I don't have the complete uh, materials available. I just have the materials I'm playing with it. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how this is going to come out. Anyway, I'm going to be using uh, an SL12 for art right here. I'm going to move this flies away from my eyes. which is, should be fine. And uh, of course, I'm going to be using a, exclusively a clear mono on this fly. So let's see. So we're going to have to do the materials first. I think first of what I did was to pull the gills over here. I have a piece of uh, a couple of fibers of the uh, silky fibers. So let's see if this is going to work good. Just going to go around like this. Just to give a little red, I mean, it's if you don't feel like it, if you feel like it's not really necessarily, well, don't put it, you know. Simple can be. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to really do every, you know, as I show you. You know, tying a fly, when I do tie a fly, is basically I show you what I do, but Obviously, you you will be tying it your way. And when you're tying your way, it's always the right way. So, put a little red over here. We'll see what we can do over here. And then we're going to leave it. Okay, so at this point we're gonna do the needle fish fibers in in white. I will say this much think yeah. put this over here for now gonna tap it and I 
let's see where do we go ah, we have to establish how long we want it this way let's see what do we got over here this is like a, a good eight inch maybe maybe nine so let's say if I do eight inch okay all right we got it it's gonna be there pretty much We got, we got the white. Now we're gonna do a little shot. Just a tiny bit on the middle. Again, we're going to tap it. At the end, if we don't like the, the length that we're doing right now, we can always shorten it. You know, it's not really a big deal to do that. But I think that, you know, this size, this long size, you know, this long size, you, you're going to like it, the fish is going to like it. So we'll figure out. Now we're going to put us some several strands of this Fleischer boot thing over here. I think it's a Mirage, I believe it. It's an Opal Mirage. Definitely it's going to catch the eyes of those fish. So far, so good. Okay. And after that, we really should go and work in into the wire. I have a 20 pound. So let me see what we got over here. It's a one length. Yeah, let's cut it over here. A little bit longer. All right, so I got the wire over here for the hook. Right here. So what I do at this point, I'm going to borrow this hook over here. I, I like the idea to put at the end the uh, an octopus hook. Uh, I like.
like the idea of, of this a lot. Uh, let me see if this is going to work out okay. It should. So what are we doing over here? We're going to measure, of course. Now, what uh, I think is over here, what's going to be, if you're going to put this hook over here, and then you have this much fibers passing the hook, that's when everything is going to start to tangle, okay? But if you're going to put the hook almost at the end of it, then the fibers and I cannot be able to tangle around the hook. So, but technical that will make this fly illegal. Uh, honestly, I don't really uh, go after uh, records and stuff like that. I like the fun catching those big barracuda. So I'm gonna have my hook passing the fiber so this way when I get it excited out there, and even if I do a sheet of cast, you know, that thing is an I can wrap around. So I'm gonna do this, but from this point on, I wanna establish exactly the length of this fly. So let's assume I want an eight inch, okay? from the hook eye, it's going to be there. And then at the end, I will, I will trim the fly. So eight inch is going to be here. This is what I'm going to do. And then at the end, we'll, we'll trim this line. I think eight inch is plenty. Okay. Are we gonna cut this wire? And the way usually I do is one little bit shorter than the other, so I don't have like a step when I go with the threads. That should be fine. Make sure it is on the bottom. Okay. I think this this fly, what are we doing right now is makes interesting because I haven't finalized this fly. So basically, I'm finalizing this fly with you, pretty much. Okay. So now we're gonna do the top color, which is a, an agua, aqua color. Because those are middle fish in the water, they're really you know, they're hard to see it. I'm sure you have experienced that. I think this should be enough. But those barracuda, they can, they can see those on little fish, that's for sure. And boy, oh boy, when they see those on little fish, they just like submarine how fast they they go to grab them. Okay. 
this is going to go on top. Just be careful with, of course, you know, you will, you will now work with, with the hook. I, I went out with the hook, so I have a better idea what's going on over here. All right, we get in there. The angle. So far, so good. Okay, we gotta do a little glue now. So we'll put everything in place. on top. All right. So far so good, huh? Let me see, at this point, we're going to finish the head over here. And the way we're going to do this is this. We're going to grab it, a bunch of this washable. Just like that. So we want to cover, you know, all these materials over here. I mean, probably those uh, barracudas they don't will not care about it, but you know, we want to make it in a way that looks good to us, that we like it. What are we doing? And as you can see it, I mean, it really makes the difference wrapping this around you give a nicer reflection give it a little bit extra good looking you know we like it the fish is gonna like even better because if you like it the fish is gonna love it Okay, I think now it's time to finish. I was lucky enough to have it. The flesh of in my hand over here. This should be fine. All right. Sometimes, you know, you just do this. Nothing is going to move it. All right. So I'm going to move the, the hook for the time being. Put them over here. Now it comes, <laughs> now it comes the best part. We need a straw. <laughs> I'm gonna do some 
a little trick over here. Because we're going to need a 12 strong that will support the fibers right here at this point. Over here. So this is pretty much the length. All right. So it's assuming let's assume we're gonna do this, then we need to need to go over here and we can cut a little triangle over here on the bottom. That's where we're going to insert the hook. Once we do that, then we're going to Okay, that's pretty much the hand. should be fine and then at the end we will know how far we have to cut it so okay the idea of uh, you know, using the, the straw was, you know, when I did the original one, I said, okay, how am I going to support this long fibers over here with a uh, something transparent? And that's when I come out with, you know, the thinking of the, of the straw. So we're going to just cut out a little bit over here, just like that. All right. Let's see what happened over here now. Remember, at the end, we're going to epoxy the head, so everything is going to be in place. Looks good. So we'll see what we can do over here to cover. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now we have the shape of here already. Yeah, we can see the, the those gills. And we're gonna cover everything with epoxy over here so that it's be nice and strong. Hopefully we hopefully we'll get more than one fish with this fly because generally talking when you get a barracuda is a one fish or one fly. But you know, if you get the big one, I believe it that you don't care to put a new fly on it. All right. A 
Now, I want to trim in this fly before I do the epoxy, just to see how far we want to go. Once we put epoxy over, it will be no problem. All right, one thing you want to do is you really want to stretch the wire. Okay, let's see. Let's see what do we got. Let's see what do we got. I was saying if we are going to so we need to cut about this much over here. Yeah, about here. And you know what? Tell you what. I'm gonna pull this. Sparkle away before I cut it. Just have to be able to catch it. There you go. One more. Okay, I think I, I think I know what's gonna happen over here. This is gonna be here. Yeah, I think we got it. So one thing we need to do now is basically tap it. You really cannot do this cutting like that with this type of uh, synthetic if you don't have uh, the right scissor. The scissor that I'm using, besides being a long blade, you know, one edge is serrated. So what happens is it's going to grab the materials before you cut it so it will not slip away. So that's the beauty of using... Uh, the right scissors. And it's just like that. Let's see. Give it a taken. All right. I think it's fine. There it is. This needle fish fibers is a really thin diameter, very, very thin. And it has a, um, a micro crimp on it. So I'll give a nice, nice looking effect when it comes to creating those little bay fish. They're good to do any, of course, a needle fish, sand eel, if you're doing sand eel and things like that. 
All right, I want to put the hook on it. See if I have the right. So we're gonna have to figure out to get these things over here. Now. Come on, buddy. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do with you. There you go. Now it's gonna go in. So you can do one turn and then you'll do the, a second turn. So you have the, the twisted wire so it's not going straight behind. You can even do three if you want. See? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, uh, let's try. See with those, are, I went in and out three times, so now you have a nice tight, and there will be less likely it's gonna cut it through the hook eye, right here. Oh. So here we are, I believe it. Yep. See, I got the fibers and I really I think that's that's good enough. Um, eyes, in this case, we needed to put those stick on before we put the epoxy. I'm not gonna do the epoxy. I mean, everybody knows how to do epoxy, but just to show you, uh, stick on eyes. It just put them right over. Get another one. And then of course, you know, you wanna when you put the the epoxy on it, you you don't wanna put the hook. You put the hook you, you can put the hook actually when you go fishing. You carry those hooks and just I think it's, uh, I don't think I have to do any more adjustment with this fly. You know, it's close enough. I just wanted to make sure again that the fiber doesn't pass the hook a lot. I might even trim a little bit more over here and have the hooks trailing. And once I put the epoxy on it, like I did over here, it's good to go. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything else to do it. I, I will be offering this available to anyone that they don't want to deal with this. And um, there we have it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you had a little fun over here with me blowing things all over the place. <laughs> and uh, what can I say? Uh, until next time, you just have a good time out there and uh, be safe and stay out of trouble. <laughs>